after one of the most close qualifying finishes we've ever seen. It's Valtteri Bottas on pole position from Sergio Perez uh, standing alongside him and Max Verstappen in third. The top three only separated by less than a tenth. Leclerc, Sainz, Ricardo, Norris, Alonso then comes, Gasly and Sonoda, the two teammates, the two Alfa Tauri, Ocon and Vessel and Stroll. Giovinazzi, 15th, goes to Raikkonen, 16th, Russell, Mazepin, then comes us, we get out qualified by Nikita Mazepin, Nicholas Latifi, and Lewis Hamilton starting at the back. I think we are set for an absolute wonder of a race. The lights are starting to come on, absolutely anything can happen from here on in. And it's light down, away we go, they're held for a very long time at the start. Valtteri Bottas gets away well, but so does Sergio Perez, they go wheel to wheel into turn one. And on the exit, uh, Perez is in the lead of the race from Max Verstappen, who has gone past Valtteri Bottas. Three wide, they're a bit of contact, and uh, Lewis Hamilton also makes contact with George Russell. So Russell will have some damage, I would imagine. And down the inside we go on Antonio Giovinazzi and we have gotten past the Alfa Romeo driver but not on the exit as Gio keeps his foot in and keeps his nose in now but we have just gotten the advantage down the straight but he's still hanging in around the outside but we dive it on the inside on a lat stroll and what a move that was as we go around the outside and on the exit and we are ahead of the Canadian. And Valtteri Bottas was the one that picked up some damage on the first lap, so he will switch on to medium compound tires, hoping to go to the end of the Grand Prix, and that's a front wing change as well. On the inside goes Lewis Hamilton through the right-hander, and he has gone back Giovinazzi, and what a move that was from the Brit. Absolutely fantastic. Hamilton on an absolute charge at the moment. He is now going to be fighting that stroll through turn one to Hamilton a little bit later on the brakes and he has gone past. Daniel Ricciardo up into fourth position and that's a super result if he can keep it and into the barriers goes Lewis Hamilton and he has hit the tire wall and he has lost his front wing as you can see he's trying to make his way back onto the track. The virtual safety car has been deployed and Lewis Hamilton is out of the race and that is a DNF for the Mercedes driver and let's see what happened. As you can see, we go a little bit wide there and an opportunistic move for Lewis Hamilton over Craig's and straight to the scene of the accident in the barriers. As you can see the offboard there, no chance to save it as we go on board with Lance Stroll. And you can see, wow, that was close. Oh no, Pierre Gasly going slowly and he's made contact with his teammate as well. But Gasly going very slowly, pulling over the side of the track. He is out of the race. We come into the pits under this safety car and we go on to medium compound tires, hopefully to go to the end of the Grand Prix. And on the inside goes Giovinazzi on that straw as we are exiting the pit lane now. They go wheel to wheel up the hill and they will head into the banking with Giovinazzi on the outside, round the outside goes Giovinazzi on Lance Stroll. On the exit, we've got Nikita Mazepin just behind, so if anything happens, he will be sure to pounce. But they are still wheel to wheel through the left, right, and now through the long right-hander, the quick right-hander, and it's Giovinazzi who has gotten past Stroll. Valtteri Bottas on the inside, and there is no stopping Valtteri, and there he goes. Oh, Nicholas Latifi on the exit though. Latifi still keeping his foot in there. And well, that was a nice battle for Latifi, but it's no use because Bottas is ahead. Oh, we've lost it a little bit on the exit. And Gasly is a bit closer and he dives in up the inside. We've made contact. Our star, that's Yuki Sonoda. Gasly's out of the race and we have hit the barrier. And Sonoda is stopping by the side of the track there. Oh dear, that's a big crash. And Sonoda up into the air. And Kimi Raikkonen has lost his front wing as well. And he doesn't pit. We come into the pits. And Raikkonen will have a long road back to the pit lane with that front wing damage. And Sonoda has flown through the air. And we come in for a set of medium compound tires. Hopefully to the end of the Grand Prix. And a new change of nose. Let's see the replay. As you can see, we lost the rear end a little bit. That gave Gasly some impotence to drive up the inside. 
we did make a little bit of contact there and once we got onto that gravel we uh, we kept our foot in there which was not the smartest idea and you can see there Raikkonen going right under Yuki Sonoda's car here's the replay in slow motion and that is a spectacular collision as Raikkonen under uh, Yuki Sonoda here's the onboard from Sonoda as you will see he will get absolutely plowed from behind and there he goes up into the air and uh, luckily to not flip there as you can see the height that Yuki Sonoda got and that is a shocking crash as you can see from the helmet cam of Raikkonen here we go the safety car is coming in and we can get back racing here in the Netherlands and it will be Sergio Perez who leads from Max Verstappen and Perez is away already Leclerc files out the podium positions and you can see that we're going for a move just behind on our teammate as well as Lance Stroll we've gotten past Stroll and we have gotten past Nikita Mazepin and that was a very nice move as we head up the hill here goes Lance Stroll he's going to try to fight us back there for we got him on the safety car restart but we break latest and we get up the inside and back into the lead he is in 11th place and he is so close to the points positions that I'm sure he can almost take it and we go into the barriers and we are off and uh, seeming to be out of this race but we are not as you can see the barrier um, moving around and twisting as it is and we go back onto the track as we see a replay now what has happened our race has absolutely unraveled as you can see we touched that curb on the inside and that absolutely shunted us into the barrier as you can see that barrier revolving as it is and you can see that big snap of oversteer and it spewed us into the barrier and that was a violent collision with the tire barrier you can see the onboard from Lance Stroll and that's a ditto from what uh, Lewis Hamilton has done from onboard of Lance Stroll and you can see that violent snap absolutely nothing that we could have done there except for avoid the curb we've been doing it well all day but it has caught us out on lap 16 as you can see that barrier there revolving and, and moving around and twisting but my oh my this is the second time that we will have to pit for damage as you can see that barrier completely glitching out we must have hit it very very hard but we come into the pits and we got to fix our front wing our front nose cone and our tires we go into soft compound tires to hopefully get the fastest lap to take it away from someone Round the final corner, and it's Sergio Perez, not Max Verstappen, who wins the Dutch Grand Prix, and it is a Red Bull 1-2. What a day for Sergio Perez. Max Verstappen finishes in second place, and Carlos Sainz has gotten ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. He will take the final podium position. and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Well, that caps off a perfect day for Perez and a perfect day for Red Bull. I'm sure Max would have loved to win, but he comes in second from Sainz. Fourth goes to Ricciardo, then comes Leclerc, Norris, Alonso, then comes Esteban Ocon for Alpine. Valtteri Bottas made a great recovery after wing damage on the first lap to finish ninth for two points. And then comes Sebastian Vettel, who takes the final points position. Giovinazzi just missing out on points, but still a fantastic drive from him.